Hey there, homeschool moms and dads. This is Tana with Proverbial Homemaker. I am a homeschool mom of six who loves to talk about all things curriculum, and today we're going to be talking about math curriculum. If you are feeling overwhelmed by all the math curriculum options out there, you are not alone. Choosing the right program for your child really can make a difference in a year between frustration and confidence for both you and your child. So today I'm gonna to break down all the criteria that I look for in a good homeschool math curriculum so that you can be equipped to make the best choice for you and your family. And be sure to stick around to the end because I'm gonna share a little bit about a program that checks all the boxes, which is CTC Math. Like I said, I have six kids. My youngest is eight years old now and my oldest is 17. So I've definitely had my share of trying different math curriculum options over the year, each with their highlights and their challenges. And you might wonder to yourself, why are there so many different math curriculum options, right? Is it math just math? Why do I need all these different options? Generally speaking, I think it's true that all math curriculum out there teaches basically the same things, the same scope but there can be a lot of variety in how those things are taught, such as the methods and the teaching approaches that each curriculum uses, the format of the curriculum and how it's delivered to your child, the organization of the program, meaning the order in which the concepts are taught, as well as the pacing and so on. And this, this latter fact about how math concepts are introduced and when they're introduced in the program, that's something you really need to keep in mind as a homeschool parent, especially if you're looking to switch math curriculum. Make sure to use whatever placement tests or diagnostics are provided for the math curriculum that you're looking at going into and use those so that you know where your student would enter into that new program if you decided to make that leap. You might find that they place higher or lower than you expected, which is totally normal. It's easy to feel a little bit discouraged if they place lower, but remember that's often just because of the differences in where that particular program introduces the concepts compared to the one that you just came from. In my experience, you can usually get back to where you want to be by just filling in the gaps from what they didn't learn from the last curriculum or starting at a lower level in the new curriculum and just zooming through the familiar lessons. We've had to do that a few times and it all works out in the end. So with all of that in mind, here's the big question. How do you choose the best math curriculum for your kids right now? And there are many factors that you might want to consider, but here are the six that have been the most important to me. Number one is a math program needs to have clear and effective instruction. The best math programs have concepts that are easy to understand with clear explanations. And sometimes it takes trying some different programs to find the one that best fits your child. And so the best advice I have is to take advantage of the free trials and samples that are out there to test out different curricula and actually use those trials and samples with your kids. Sit down and use them as lessons because you may find that what works for you or what you think will work will not actually work for your child. So look for things that resonate with them as far as how they're instructed. The second thing I look for in a math curriculum is something that is engaging. I want my kids to interact with and enjoy math as much as possible and how a program engages your students will be different depending on the program. You might find that some resonate with your kids more than others. Some add a story element or interesting facts and sidebars or a real life application might be the focus. Some might incorporate hands-on manipulatives, which you can also add yourself if you'd like, or they may include helpful videos. We find it helpful also to add math games into our learning time, no matter what curriculum option we're using. The third thing that I look for is ways to incorporate different learning styles. And it's wonderful if a program already does that for me. Not all kids learn best the same way. So look for a curriculum that offers a variety of approaches, visual, kinesthetic, auditory, and kinesthetic just means hands-on. And so if your child really struggles with math, finding a resource that is strongest where their learning style is strongest can really help them succeed. But the bottom line is that for any learner, I think it's really important that the math curriculum incorporates all of these learning styles to some degree. It will help strengthen those skills in your children and it will solidify their learning and retention. The fourth thing that I like to look for is that a curriculum that encourages independent learning. Some curriculum options are more parent intensive than others. 
And if you're in a season of life where you need the kids to be more independent in the subject, or you just want more teaching support, then finding a program that allows for that is essential. But even if that's not the case, teaching your children how to be self-directed independent learners over time is a valuable thing to do in their homeschool journey. Now, it's not gonna be like that right at the beginning, but it's something you work toward over the years. So finding curriculum options that help you in that endeavor are really worthwhile. Now, in the early years, you're gonna be pretty involved with teaching math, at least sitting alongside them to do things like reading the instructions and encouraging them and guiding their learning and make sure they're not falling off the chair onto the floor all the time or whatever. But each year, you're going to be able to make more and more progress in this area. And they can start that by doing lessons on their own and eventually correcting the lessons on their own while you correct the tests, for example. And you can find math resources that make this process easier and more sustainable for you as the teaching parent. The fifth thing I like to look for in a math curriculum is one that is easily adaptable for special needs. Our kids are each very different, and we have definitely struggled here and there with math, especially for those who come to the table with things like dyslexia and dyscalculia and different processing challenges. I want any math resource that we use to either be designed specifically for their needs or easy to adapt for that purpose. And so for these kiddos, I prefer a curriculum that has short lessons, built-in review, interactive hands-on elements if possible, and easy ways to encourage and reward progress because they seem to meet, need more encouragement and motivation than maybe some other kiddos. Number six, I look for budget-friendly options because budget matters, right? We are all homeschooling families. We want frugal solutions. And there are times when we invest more in a solution if we think it really fits our needs. But either way, we want the most bang for our buck. And you can totally find wonderful math curriculum options out there that don't cost you an arm and a leg. It's definitely something that we always weigh in any of our decisions for any curriculum that we're looking at. So those are the six main things that I look for. Clear instruction, engaging for our kids, incorporates various learning styles, encourages independent learning, is adaptable for special needs, and is budget friendly. I do often get other questions from homeschool moms about math that I wanted to touch on here too while we're at it. First of all, people will ask me, well, should we choose spiral or mastery curriculum? And most math curriculum leans heavily into either the spiral or the mastery category approach. Both spiral and mastery programs will introduce a new concept for each lesson, and most all of them will incorporate some kind of review. The difference really has to do with what is focused on and takes up the bulk of the lesson time. So with a spiral program, there's a heavy focus on a review of past lessons and concepts, whereas mastery curriculum will focus on practicing and master, mastering the, the concept at hand before moving on to the next one. That's, that's a generalization, but that's the basic difference between those two options. And which one will work best for you often depends on your child. I have personally found that either way, we are able to adapt whatever curriculum we're using to either incorporate more practice for the concept we're doing or more review from past lessons wherever we need to. The other question I get is, will the math curriculum prepare my child well for testing in college? Th that could be a whole nother video, but most math curriculum in the homeschool marketplace, I'm just gonna tell you, will prepare your children for testing in college just fine. If you have a child who's really gunning for a career that requires exceptional proficiency in higher level math, you'll want to consider that as especially as you start um, going into the high school years or when you're in the high school years. But for the most part, my take is that finding a curriculum that works well for your kids and keeps them progressing at their own pace is more important. Another one that uh, parents will often ask about is, should I use the physical or online program? And that's totally a per personal preference issue that might depend on your screen time, you know, policies in your home. And there are pros and cons to each approach that you'll want to consider. One thing to think about is that online programs often have more parent support and can be a little bit more engaging for kids. Adding a handwritten piece, no matter what you do, is essential for younger kids in particular, I think. And you can do that with any online curriculum by using a, a whiteboard or a scrap paper to work out problems before entering them in. But some programs like CTC Math have printable worksheets too. So just keep that in mind. I think online programs can be a great option. You just need to make sure you incorporate some hands-on learning. 
And of course, another question that we homeschoolers are always asking is, how do I know if it's time to switch math curriculum? And this can be tricky, but it's, a, it's really only something you will know. If what you're doing is working, then I would stick with it. But if you or your child is struggling, here's what I would consider. First, have you tried ways to adapt your curriculum to better suit your needs? And sometimes that's as easy as cutting the practice problems down to maybe doing half the problems instead of all the problems if the lessons are too long, adding some math games for your hands-on learners, or sitting with your child to work through the problems and help them troubleshoot. But if you hit a wall and it's been tears for you and your child and you just can't find a solution, then it may be time to find a different curriculum. So those are just a few of the questions that I get all the time about math curriculum and the different options that we've tried. If you ever have any questions, feel free to post in the comments and I will reply as soon as I can. Now, one curriculum that I would really love to highlight for you today that checks all the boxes is CTC Math. This is an award-winning math program and it's been such a blessing in the homeschool community. It may just be the next perfect fit for you and here's why. First of all, the, my favorite thing about CTC Math is it has great pricing for homeschoolers. One CTC Math subscription covers the whole family, all your kids, and gives you access to all the grade levels. Plus, the subscriptions are discounted deeply for homeschoolers, and it just makes it a huge savings, especially if you have multiple children. I also love that CTC Math has short, concise video lessons. Each lesson is bite-sized, making it easy for my kids to digest the concepts without feeling overwhelmed by them. They watch the video lesson, they answer the questions, and they have extras such as worksheets and reviews and lesson summaries and everything to help you if you need it. Their lessons are also interactive and adaptive. They are presented in a way that engages the students and motivates them throughout to help keep them going and making progress. The lesson questions are interactive, meaning they can put in the information and they're provided with instant feedback to see how they were doing. And CTC Math also in adjust to each student's unique needs and pacing. It'll identify areas of strength and weakness and then provide targeted practice for them to ensure that they have mastered the concepts. CTC Math is also really great for both struggling and advanced learners, which is very helpful, especially if you have multiple kids, you'll probably end up with some in both camps. They can do math at their own pace. So if they're strong in math, they can move ahead a level since you have access to all levels and it won't cost you anymore. Or if they're struggling, you can slow down and spend time with the lessons, watching the lessons with them multiple times, adding in more review when they need it. For your dys dyslexic kiddos, one helpful thing is that the program will read the questions to them if needed. I just find that incredibly helpful and it's available for all the levels. There are some bonus features also with CTC Math. They have an excellent parental dashboard with reports and assessments that show you how your student is doing, their progress they've made, what they're struggling with, and you can even have them email you updates of your child's progress so you can more effectively and consistently oversee their work. It's also kind of important to note that it won't conflict with family values. You probably know, as well as I do, homeschool mamas, that with homeschool resources these days, especially online resources, you need to be keenly aware of the worldviews that might be presented. With math programs, that's most often going to show up in the word problems, and you can rest assured that CTC Math has none of that in it. The program was created by a Christian homeschool dad of eight who just wanted to create a fantastic math program that was solid and affordable for homeschool families, and that's exactly what he did. So the bottom line is that if you are looking for a math curriculum that not only makes your life easier as a homeschool mom, but also gives your child a strong foundation in math, then I highly recommend checking out CTC Math. They even offer a generous free trial so you can try it out with your kiddos and see how it works for you. And again, I want to remind you, they have excellent pricing for homeschoolers that gives you access to all grades for all your kids. It's really a steal. So I'd love to hear from you. If you use CTC Math, what do you love about it? Drop a comment below and let us know. Thanks for watching and happy homeschooling.